please welcome our quiz master, Mr. Selva Rajan, who has a deck full of questions for us. Um, Mr. Selva Rajan, uh, to just introduce him, is a multifaceted person. He's a banker by profession and has been an avid bird watcher and environmentalist uh, for decades, quite a few decades actually. Uh, taking his step, uh, passion a step forward, he has started an NGO called the Green Circle. That's based out of Delhi, I think. Uh, so let's uh, get going with Mr. Selvarajan and check our knowledge about our winged friends. The stage is all yours, sir. Let us let the fun begin. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mona. Uh, I think uh, now I must be made a co-host to make my presentation so that you will all be uh, seeing the yeah yeah presentation. I'm trying uh, to do it. I think you are able to see this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Friend. Let's let's go for the uh, you know. Uh, what do you call drawing room? As Chanakya has told that this is the showroom, and birds is birds are in the showroom, but we were all in the good so far. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was in the beginning also there was a showroom, and the last also there is a showroom. Uh, so very nicely, Chanakya sir has given a fantastic um, presentation about the waste management. Without wasting much time, I would let me go to the quiz. The idea of this quiz is not a competition. I think oh, only thirty-five people are there. Everybody can write your names in the chat box. There will be only 12 questions. I mean, this may be simple or moderate also. I'm not making it very, very tough because, you know, the idea is to bring everybody into birding. There are many people who are technically qualified uh, about the waste management. I mean, not sewerage, uh, waste, water, waste water and all those things, you know, all the... Um, you know, zooplanktons and phytoplankton and planktons have to be saved. All this is amazing presentation. Now, let us see uh, something about these birds. 12 questions only, and it all will be in MCQ pattern A, B, C, R. Uh, so, and questions will be shown. One second, let me hide the picture. Okay. Uh, question will be shown one by one in the next uh, few slides. Are you ready? Okay. Now uh, we are going to expect you to write like this only you know write the question number every question has got a question number say like this q1 uh, if the answer is c q1 c just that only alone you will be will have to do it see Sim, simi i just want to have your scoring the first three fastest fingers will be applauded at the end of each question because i'll give um, the present the question now then we'll yes, give yes. one minute time for the answer and Simi will be um, recording who is the fastest, you know, seeing the chat box. You have to just type in the chat box Q1, Q2 and the answer C, D or something like that. Fine. Yes, sir. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Fastest fingers will be given a big uh, applause. We cannot give a shield or something like that right now because we are all in webinar. Let's try to do it uh, in the applause. That is more than enough for every one of us. Now, all can participate. There is no restriction, even if you do not know. You know, you all know that KBC, any answer you can type it. Only thing is you will be, uh, but in KBC, you won't have an opportunity. Here, you will be having an opportunity again and again, you come to me. Now, this is the first question. You need to identify the state bird of Karnataka. And the answers are four, uh, four pictures are here you will have to find which is the right word. The, uh, no, the um, trust members will not answer, give the answer. Okay. So Indian white eye, earlier it was known as oriental white eye, a beautiful, cute, small bird. Then comes Ashiprenia, which is uh, our Dr. Subbo also has mentioned about it. Ashi Ren Warbler, which we were all telling. Other one is Roller. Yep. This bird, when it is sitting, it is dirty, but when it is flying, amazing color. And coming to the last one, Painted Stark, it is a, it's present in the national level everywhere. Now, what is the right, correct answer? Go and type it. You can type it. I'll give the answer after a minute. Now, after 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah, let us see what is your answer, correct answer. We are all in Karnataka and how many of you, many of us are in Karnataka, how many of you know what is the state bird of Karnataka? 
No. Sir, already there is a plethora of answers that have already oh. come in. So uh, I am not, I am not seeing the chat box. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Many yeah. answers. Okay. You can announce the answer, and we'll the see right, who is made it. Yeah. yeah. The right, but, right answer is Indian roller, uh, amazing blue who, bird. Who got the answers right, Simi? The first yeah, one was Kavyashi, madam. Ah, uh, first is Kavya, uh, ma'am. Then Lohit, and third is Harsha. Now give a big hand to all the uh, these winners. Yeah, okay. All three of them. Yeah, winners. Very good. Now let's go to the question number two. Let us keep the same tempo until the last. Now you are seeing some beautiful orange ducks. It is not there in uh, in our Putanahalli Lake. Uh, of course, we have got four options are there: northern pintail and uh, ruddy shell duck, lesser whistling duck, and common goose. Some of these birds have been mentioned by Dr. Subbu also. Uh, you know, so I think uh, you will be giving your answer. Shall I go for an answer or wait? Wait, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, you must. Um, now uh, you can go for the answer, sir. Okay, right. Answer is this: Ruddy shell duck. Earlier, it is. It was known as Brahmini duck. Our uh, Dr. Subbu was mentioning about the Brahmini kite. And nothing connected to Brahmins, so he is correctly pointing out. And these Brahmini ducks are also not uh, connected to the uh, communities. Okay, and this is and this I have shot in Bharatpur. Sir, uh, it is this is B, right, sir? Yeah, yeah, radishal duck. It is Brahmini duck in common terms, but yeah. it is the technical term. Nowadays, the taxonomy has gone uh, undergone a lot of changes. Yeah. Now the third so, question. Yeah, at least answer that. Yeah. Answer. So, so the right uh, questions uh, are uh, have been done by Doctor Ashoka, uh, Ashoka, Mr. Lohit, and uh, Mr. Rajesh. First, uh, two, first three. Very good. Oh, so many people have given the right Big answer. Hands. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> really. Yeah. Great. So now this is the third question. Q three and answer. There uh, the present taxonomy for. Dr. Salim Ali Sparrow, Russet Sparrow, House Sparrow, Eurasian Tree Sparrow, Chestnut Shouldered Petronia. Now, Dr. Salim has got his um, biography written, autobiography written, and here he is mentioning about the sparrow, fall of that sparrow, which was uh, amazing for him. It started his career in, uh, you know, his uh, work in the uh, field of ornithology. Amazing it was. Now, answer should I tell or yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, okay, right. The answer is yellow-throated sparrow. The other name is chestnut-shouldered petronia. This is the latest tax taxonomy. Otherwise, in the throat there will be a small yellow spot. This was the difference which Dr. Salim has uh, Dr. Salim Ali has found, and this uh, induced him or this. Uh, he got some, got some. Uh, I mean, interest in the birding, and then he has gone as, as a ornithologist. Now the next two question. Sir, uh, uh, please mention the serial number. Serial okay, number. Okay, okay, okay. Q three, you um, completed, no? Q four, yeah. shall we? Shall we go to the no, Q four? No, no, sir. Q three, uh, correct answer is. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Mm, yeah. A please. B C. <clears throat> B. Correct answer is D, and nobody B. answered it right. No, nobody yeah. answered. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the latest uh, I mean, uh, taxonomy. Uh, you know, it is there in the e bird. Earlier, it was called yellow throated sparrow. Now, it is okay. that name is not there anymore. Okay, shall I go to the next one? So, the quiz master gets the mark now. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now I'll go to the next question. Here, I am giving you certain uh, institutions all connected to environment and birds. Worldwide Fund for Nature, uh, eBird India, See the Wildlife Trust India, and Bombay Naturalist Society. Hornbill is the logo for. I think many are coming with the correct answer. Uh, yeah, sir. I, uh, as of now, one. 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 Answer. one. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'll show all the all the logos also after this question. I'll show the logos. But can you identify the exact organization? With the with the hornbill as its uh, like logo. Yeah, hornbill as the logo. 
their magazine is also called hornbill <laughs> yeah <laughs> now you are giving clue <laughs> okay good good so shall we shall we go for the answer yes sir okay the answer is b n h s bombay natural history society b answer b q4 okay, so answer is b i'll be uh, announcing the top 3 correct answers uh, okay. the uh, participants names uh, okay. mr lohit uh, okay. Sa- uh, sadhvi and uh, pavana fantastic. a big hand to them <laughs> fantastic now all of you see the logos wwf is having red panda e bank indi e bird india amazingly i do not know why there is no bird it is a bird related uh, website and the other one is wildlife trust where deer is a logo and bnhs is uh, having hornbill as their logo yeah okay shall we go to the next question sure sir okay then good the second and the fifth question is uh, a bird you need to identify this bird it's common in uh, bangalore you can see every bird long tailed strike or gray back to strike or bay back to strike or brown strike it is a strike and uh, i got it very recently in uh, sonapura a lovely bird yeah now answers are going on i think or no encouraging results Yes, Simi. Answers are pouring in, sir. Okay, so now... answers are pouring in. Okay, <laughs> we, we can see this. Uh, we can see this uh, species in our Putanahalli also. That's what I'm saying. Putanahalli also, it is there. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, so, sir, now you can give the correct answer. The correct answer is bay back strike. Answer C. Gray back strike. Bay back yes, strike. Okay, sir. So, uh, oh, yeah. first uh, person to answer is uh, again uh, Mr. Rajesh. Sorry, uh, Mr. Lohe. Oh, then is, is uh, Pavana and Harshita. Top three. Great. Very good. Give a big hand to them also. Yeah. Next, we'll go to the next question. Shall we, Simi? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, question number six. and uh, i think this is very easy for anybody and uh, dr subha also has shown it let us see identify this bird i am just making it simple to complex one little moderate i am not making it complex also a yellow throated sparrow b golden oreo c baya weaver and d purple sun female all these birds are having yellow in their body so that is why i have chosen this yellow particularly now anyone can give the correct answer mm-hmm. fastest finger is going to get the uh, clap others may not but anyway all of you can try that is the wonder of this quiz everybody is involved in this uh, group yes correct answer shall i go for it yes Simi? sir yes okay sir. the correct answer is baya weaver bird this is See. famous for its uh, nest our dr salim ali is saying that nobody no engineer on earth can i mean make a nest like uh, by a weaver bird yes now tell me who are the winners yes sir no, uh, again lohit <laughs> okay then, i sir. think he is a birder i think <laughs> yeah okay then uh, then uh, dinakaran number 2 okay. and dr ashoka number 3 wow very good very good give a big hand big to hand all of to them. them yeah yeah right next question is question number 7 q7 now i am going to test your uh, you know uh, anatomy knowledge or you can morphology uh, knowledge in a bird even zoology students biology students can tell it that tell this answer correctly now this is a colorful bird, bird I, this is not how it appears this is only a typical uh, you know model it is only a design okay but there are various every color represents a particular i mean uh, area in a bird to identify birders use these things very very meticulously supercilium neck crown stripe or nape what is it i am just focusing my arrow at uh, the neck portion yes i know the answers are coming up you know yes, every yes, color sir. every color represents one particular name for it you know the you know the birders go very meticulously about finding out what is this exact portion 
and uh, and they will be discussing among themselves okay supercilium is like this neck is like this like that so you need to identify because i can give a clue there is one bird also which is uh, known by its nap yeah this is nap d nap how many people have given correct answer sir uh, sunita uh, okay. sadvi uh, okay. lohit and uh, dr ashoka also of course okay, <laughs> right. right now <laughs> now, now see the see the nomenclature in every part you know such a uh, you know even like you are um, you know study of zooplankton and phytoplankton study of a bird is also one of the very amazing thing ornithology is really great now let's go to the question number 8 yeah yes sir. now i i am giving here six authors name authors of bird books now who said the following learn to identify a bird by its call because first you hear it then you see it at many a time you never don't you don't even see it this is a fact real fact of the birding so who is the author vikram Agar, vikram grewal richard uh, grimant dr salim ali nikhil devas sir zafar futeli or garima batia who is it answers are coming simi yes sir i am not seeing the chat box because now i am having complete pouring in. So I <laughs> yeah pouring in okay i think many people know it and it's very very important actually because this is how so much we are talking about birds you know the right answer should i, should I tell yes yeah, sir okay the right answer is dr salim ali Yes, sir. So, so I'll be <laughs> announcing three names, sir. Uh, yeah, Sunita. Okay, good. Jaysh and Very good. Lohit again. Oh. <laughs> I think <laughs> now the first prize award winner is Lohit. <laughs> okay. In, yes, sir. Okay, right. Great. Good, good. Nice. Every author here, you know, they are having a fabulous book on birds. And, you know, uh, we need to um, have this on our uh, desk for learning more about birds. next question here question number 9 it's a blue colored bird and what all the answers i have given are all blue color so you need to find out what is this blue color this is again in our putanahalli lake definitely you can see it vertiter flycatcher large blue uh, flycatcher tickles flycatcher blue whistling thrush i have seen <laughs> all these birds and uh, not in uh, putanahalli i have seen a particular bird this particular bird is available in all over india and hills particularly yeah i think people are typing the answers yeah q9 what is the answer shall i go for it yes yeah, sir uh, answers have come many uh, yeah yes yeah, sir okay okay you have identified the first two three okay Yeah. The answer is vertiter flycatcher. A beautiful small sparrow like bird only. It's beautiful indeed in fact to see it. I this bird I have caught it in um, Satal but now I have got the list here in Putanahalli. It is found in Putanahalli also. Vertiter flycatcher. Yes sir. Okay, so, we'll go to the next question. Sir, yeah, I announce yeah. the name sir. Yeah, please 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 I'm sorry. Yeah sir. Uh, so Rajesh Rajesh uh, Sadhvi <laughs> and huh? dr ashok okay great okay. dr ashok is also coming closer to the <laughs> winning podium okay great right next question question number question number 10 is this which bird birds eggs are this beautiful colored eggs are here you know birds are beautiful we know but birds eggs are also beautiful and which is this bird flame back predator flycatcher oriental skylark or indian robin what is the correct answer i remember once one of one, one of my friends brought this color uh, this thing and said sir i have never seen a blue color this is the first time i'm seeing what is this but <laughs> then i had gone to so many places and found out which is yeah can you tell me what is this but is a yeah answers are come yes Simi? sir okay yes, three sir. three you identified good good good, good. yes the answer is 
none other than the indian robin you can see this common bird everywhere in the in india and the, the colorful eggs is smaller than even a normal hen's eggs it will be half or even one fourth of it and it's beautiful beautiful to see that uh, the, this eggs also well let's yes, go to the so next question i'll be uh, announcing the correct uh, yeah please please announce it announce it dr ashoka oh uh, again <laughs> and Dr. then uh, lohit again okay okay and uh, i just uh, mention here one thing i mean uh, requesting the audience to do mark question 10 11 whatever it is along with the a b c d whatever yeah, yeah that is very important q10 okay. and and only two more questions next time we will go for a very bigger quiz competition this time yeah. we are trying to test it how it is they working now okay. the uh, first winners three winners we give a big hand to all of them very nice and we'll go to the next question that's question number 11 and if you had listened to our uh, uh, dr subu you might be easily identifying this okay what is this is it a graphic art or a spray to scare the birds or a starling murmuration or bird migration or a bee swarm what is it yes i know that answers are flowing in okay simi what is the question yes sir answers are pouring in as is <laughs> okay good that is right really uh, amazing because the people even uh, dr subu was mentioning about it during his um, presentation sir and i am really uh, uh, like uh, all the i mean lot of participation and many people are knowing the correct answers so okay good great, our idea is that people must all participate that is our idea that's good really now see here this is the answer correct answer starling murmuration or murmuration whatever you call it and the birds murmur the wings and the birds are murmuring you can see this normally in the western parts of our country murmuration and this is particularly of rosy starling or earlier this bird was called rosy pastor in fact dr subu was showing this bird during his presentation it is there in our park also but if it is going in lakhs and lakhs then there will be like a design in the graphic design in the sky amazing to look at it you just google it you will find lots of uh, this thing especially they are found in ahmedabad gujarat and uh, western side of our country that is uh, you know you can see it in uh, mumbai and suburbs of mumbai i think uh -huh. in bangalore also somebody has reported i am not sure about it yes sir uh -huh. the last question we are going and uh, this question is indian sanctuary yes, bird sanctuary uh, here i would like to announce the names Okay, sorry, sorry, okay, I am not. Yeah, uh, okay. So, uh, uh, Sadhvi, Lohe, and uh, Dinakaran, top three okay. answers. Yeah, yes. yeah. Now, yes. now you know the list, uh, Simi. And at the last, you give who has given the correct answer for most of the questions. You can yes. give one or two names like that. Okay. Yes. Uh, immediately, that is faster finger also. Uh, that that shows their immediate knowledge. That is that. Okay. next last question indian bird sanctuary which is appearing in the unesco world heritage center i am giving here four major bird sanctuaries vedantangal bird sanctuary kyalado kyaladev uh, national park sultanpur national park nal sarovar bird sanctuary nal sarovar is in gujarat sultanpur is in near delhi kyaladev is in rajasthan vedantangal is in tamil nadu so who has given the correct answer yes sir <laughs> i am ready <laughs> but your job is very challenging i know simi it's very difficult <laughs> yeah so Good. sir uh, again lohit vijay okay. and yeah no no i i had to give it <laughs> answer <laughs> oh okay okay <laughs> the correct answer is kelamdev the national park which is otherwise known as bharatpur the bird sanctuary as uh, several times every year i used to go there fabulous bird sanctuary it is in the in the world i can say not only in india we need to visit in his lifetime anybody okay how many have given the right answer 
ஜாபிடி birding was called a yeah, uh, you know hi-fi uh, hobby you know to have a binocular to have a camera is very difficult in fact in my 40 years of birding i was acquiring one asset after another asset and i'm having four or five binoculars broken still with me and it's all you know very with the great difficulty i was getting it and investing some amount and i think uh, you start birding with a simple thing that is go to your neighborhood and just watch the bird whichever bird it is then you uh, consult some of the birders in your areas they will give you, you give the specification note the bees note the um, color of the uh, you know wings and feathers and how the tail is there like that you just look at it very simple you can identify 35 to 40 species without any pressure without anything so if you want to know further still come to putana halli lake every wednesday join us in the uh, wednesday walks at 7:30 i will definitely be there for every wednesday i hope that all of you will come there anybody who comes but don't expect any invitation or anything i'll be waiting uh, from 7:15 onwards to 7:30 let us all go dr sanguni was there last week amazing person i tell you dr sanguni in spite of his uh, uh, age he was working even faster than me that's great so let's go on do this exercise continuously and save our lake, lake from any kind of sewage and other things let us um, join together then we will do something thank you very much my thank presentation you, importantly uh, she is an ardent voice and supporter of uh, the lake uh, simi has been uh, spearheading the kere habba since its inception and uh, i would like to hand over the stage to her now simi over to you thank you thank you mona uh, so uh, here i would just like to thank everyone uh, i would start now i would like to thank my fellow trustees uh, for once again giving me an opportunity to drive kere habba 2022 i'm sure this it would not have happened without the support of uh, dr sanguni puttu swami sir krishna sir shantanu sir and other trustees who have uh, held faith in me my special thanks to selva sir for being an encouragement throughout and also by helping us with a zoom account which which has enabled this virtual meeting happen my special thanks to somya who has put her efforts in creating the those attractive posters a big thanks to monali for a wonderful comparing and making the program very interesting i would like to thank dr chanakya uh, dr seema dr subramanya for ex- accepting to be speakers for today and also professor uh, shrikant for motivating the students from government first grade college to share their experiences at the lake 
without the constant support from Karnataka Forest Department, we would not have been able uh, to do what we have done today or what we are today. And my special thanks to Kavya Madam for gracing this occasion and sharing with us the importance of Yalahanga Putinhalli Lake and Bird Conservation Reserve. The Kerehapa would not have been possible without the constant support of corporates, residents from the neighboring layouts and apartments, and all those wonderful bird enthusiasts who capture great pictures and share it with us in YPL VCT group. We are thankful to the community of environmentalists like Friends of Lakes, R3 and the Indian Institute of Sciences for their continuous guidance. I would like to give a big thanks to the media for the constant support they have uh, given to us. Last but not the least, our wonderful audience. Many, many thanks to you. Thank you all once again and thanks for your support. We all had a great time. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, Sanguni sir, would you like to say a few words before we close? Uh, thank you, Simi. Nothing else. Just I would like to thank you all for participating. Really very interesting and uh, enjoyed. The last quiz we really enjoyed. And uh, so this is the uh, time where we like to continue further. So it is uh, 20, usually uh, Karayabha on Irba Big Day. But we are going to continue some of the uh, webinars in coming months. So every month we decide to have one with different topics so that people can enjoy. At the same time we also learn. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you everyone.